And this chapter is going to be all about the circulatory system. The circulatory system has four major components. The blood is very important for carrying nutrients all throughout the body to all the different tissues we've been encountering. Um, the heart has the job of pumping the blood. The blood vessels have the job of carrying the blood. And then finally, the lymphatic system. This is something that might not be quite as familiar to you coming into this chapter, um, but it includes another network of vessels kind of like blood vessels, but they don't carry blood. And this is very important for fluid drainage um, just throughout the body. So let's take a look at these components in more detail. Okay, so breaking it down by system, the circulatory system has two major systems within it. Uh, we have the cardiovascular system, which is the heart and the blood vessels. We'll be looking at both of these in more detail. The heart has four chambers, and this is again for pumping blood throughout the body. The blood is pumped through the blood vessels, and we'll be um, considering three different types of blood vessels. Arteries, which carry blood away from the heart. Um, veins, which carry blood towards the heart and then capillaries, which are kind of the bridge between those two. So we'll come back to that a little bit later on. And then the lymphatic system. This is very important in immune function, so we'll be seeing this system again when we talk about the immune system. Um, but again, this, has a, this includes a whole network of vessels that go throughout the body. It also includes certain organs like the spleen, the thymus, the tonsils, the lymph nodes. Um, all of those are included in the lymphatic system. So this system, in conjunction with the cardiovascular system, they work together in order to make up this complete sort of circulatory system that, that carries substances throughout the body. Major functions, um, number one is just transportation, being able to move things throughout the body. So this includes things like gases and wastes uh, that, are, that our tissues need and produce respectively. And then there's also an important function just in terms of allowing hormones to circulate, right? The hormones have to have a way to get to their target sites. Um, so it, it, by working with the endocrine system, the circulatory system does help to allow the regulation of homeostasis throughout the body. And then finally, protection. Our bodies have amazing abilities to protect themselves. Uh, we'll be seeing one of these mechanisms in detail in this chapter, we'll talk about clotting, how clotting works, and then immunity. Again, we'll have a separate chapter to focus on that one, uh, but the, the circulatory system is what allows these things to, to be in place. So let's get started with blood. We're going to start with the cardiovascular system and looking at what is in blood. 